So in today's YouTube video, guys, we're taking a look at the newly buffed M13 here after the Season 3 update. Now, this weapon is actually super nasty here after the update. I have an updated build. you got to try it out. So if you guys are new here, enjoy today's video. Make sure that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on so you don't miss any more videos. But anyways, guys, let's hop right into it. Now, for our first attachment here for the M13 build, we're going to be using the Sack and Tread 40. Now, this is a very good muzzle for the M13. Very helpful for that vertical and horizontal recoil control. Now, as you guys see here, with the recoil control, we're getting on this weapon it is a pretty good amount now other than that this weapon is pretty balanced i do like the recoil control on this weapon with even no attachments this can make it a little bit more better make their m13 more calm so this is a must use attachment for number one now getting into our second attachment i do recommend the demo fern grip now this can help with aiming out of stability hip fire accuracy and recoil stabilization now i do like this under barrel a lot the edge 47 grip is still a good one but looking at this we're getting more aiming out of stability and hip fire accuracy with this weapon and keeping the same recoil stabilization as we would for the Reg 47 grip. You can go in between these. If you don't want to lose any mobility, you can go with the Edge 47 grip. But the Demo Fern grip is really good for the aiming out of stability. We're more stable when aiming down sights. And also that hip fire accuracy is a tiny bit better. So if you do need a hip fire, I do recommend using this build. And that recoil stabilization is the same as most of the underbarrels. So I do think this is the best attachment now for the M13. Now for our next attachment guys, we're going with the high velocity rounds. Now since the M13 does have a very fast fire rate, I do want to add this for a great combo with the high velocity rounds. Our bullets are fast firing and also our bullets are traveling faster and air to hit our targets faster now. So it's just a great combo for the M13 at any range. You're killing very fast and also our bullets are traveling a little bit further now. So this is a really good attachment for the ammunition type. Now for the magazine, I am going with the 45 round mag. Now you can add on the 60 if you really want to, but I think the 45 round mag is just plenty here. Now since the M13 does have a fast fire rate, like I mentioned about the ammunition type, I think you need to have a larger magazine size because if you just have a 30, you're going to go through ammo super fast. You're going to be loading every time you get a kill or two. That's going to prevent it. So I do think the 45 round mag is a very important attachment here. Now for our final attachment here for my M13 build, we're going to be actually using one of my favorite attachments here on this weapon, which is the flash v4 stock that's going to give us sprint speed aim walking movement speed crouch movement speed and aim down side speed we're getting a lot of handling and mobility here being more aggressive being in people's faces being more aggressive we're aiming down sides strafing and aiming down sights and moving faster the aim down side speed is up as well and then we have that crouch movement speed which you guys know already i think it's not important for my play style i'm never crouch walking or anything unless i'm playing search and destroy which i don't play that unless i'm playing rank play and i'm not even using the m13 in there anyways but the v flash uh, v4 stock is a very important attachment for the m13 and actually one of my favorites now for the tunes for my build we're going to start with the muzzle here and we're going to max out our gun kick control and our recoil stabilization this is giving us the most recoil control and uh, these are just the best spots for this weapon here and it's going to help our weapon not kick up as much now since this weapon we are using the iron sights and it's not going to have any visual recoil it's not going to be jumping at all this m13 build is super calm when firing you can Hold down the trigger and shoot all your bullets and the weapon is not going to be moving. Now for the Fern Grip, we're going to be maxing our aim down sight speed just for the most aim down sight speed we can get for our build. We're going to put our aim walking movement speed at 0.22. We're getting a little bit more mobility here, more aim down sight speed and handling. Aiming down sights faster, moving faster when aim down sights. Now for the ammunition type here, we're going to put our bull velocity at 3.19, 3.20. This can help our bull travel a little bit faster and a little bit further. And also that damage range at 0.50 is going to allow our weapon to travel a little bit further and also have that pack of punch where our bullets are hitting a little bit harder at a longer range. And then for our final attachment here, guys, for the stock, we're going to be maxing our aim down sight speed and put our aim walking movement speed at 0.85, just giving us a little bit more mobility and handling. And for overall, this, guys, this build is super nasty. The mobility, the recoil control, the range and accuracy you are getting with this build is very nice. And you're going to see in today's gameplay on how aggressive I'm being, running gun, just being aggressive and getting high kill games as per usual. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comment section what is your highest kill game is. If you drop any nukes, let me know as well. But as always, you guys stay safe and I hope you enjoy. Throw that right there. You don't even know who I don't even know who to shoot at, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. All I do know though is that we need to get a helicopter. We need the advanced UAV. We need it all. We need it all. Alright, there we got the overwatch. That's good. That's good. 
All right, let's call this helicopter in real quick. Where is everybody? I'm dead. No, I'm not. Never mind. Yo, teammate, 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 help me. I'm dead. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We chilling. We chilling. Yeah, y'all are not taking my advanced UAV away from me there. That's a whole team, like a whole enemy, and you're not killing them. What is wrong with you? I need ammo bad. All right, 20. Okay, cool. We're chilling now. We have a lot of ammo. Shouldn't be worried now. You pushing out? Come on. All right, we got one MGB. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Let's keep it going. You know, I, I couldn't do anything there. I'm just going to chuck that at the teammate. Bro, what is this? Hey, bud. Let's run this way now. We got to trick him out a little bit. Just a little bit. Throw it right there. Yo, tack him. That confused me a little bit. I don't see people run that weapon anymore. Oh, that's on me. Bro, I, I, I'm only going to be able to get like one nuke this game. Watch. Oh, give me the quad. Thank you. Give me that quad feed. Now we need to get another one. They're just like holding some weird angles. Some very, very weird angles. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Psych. Overwatch helo. I don't, I don't even, I, I don't know what that dude's throwing at me. Get that ammo. Get that over. Advance your AV. There we go. I want to call this helicopter in so bad. Let me... Why, why? And I get shot through the wood, dude. I can't shoot through it, but people can. That's cool, I guess. Weird, but I guess. Call that in. Why are you spawning over here? Got another helicopter. Good, 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 good. I don't think they're going to spawn on top of us, so we're going to push it over here. There we go. We'll call this in. Is that like that? That dude's like trying to like quick scope with a with that like a rocket launcher. I think it's odd, but that's a nine time. That's a kill chain. I don't know if that's uh. 
I am so close to a nuke. I know I am. And I'm trying to... I'm playing my life. There we go. That's a double nuke for us already. How many kills we're at? 103. Let's get it. Okay, we're going to go for a triple. This should be the gameplay. They're probably going to spawn over there, too. Yeah, we got hit markers. I can't see a thing. I'm not going to let y'all kill me, so... Let's call that helicopter in. Just to be safe, guys, like, when you're calling in streaks, like, so, like, say if you get, like, a nuke or something, and you don't want to call it in on accidentally, like I be doing a lot, um, make sure that you click triangle, triangle, Y, Y, whatever it is that you have to click, so you don't accidentally call in a nuke. Sometimes you don't have to, but just you know, sometimes to do it to be safe. All right, we got to keep pushing this, though, so we can... I've never seen someone just run around like that with a rocket launcher. Kudos to you. Oops. Yeah, teammate, you could get me killed. Push him, teammate. This is actually insane right now. I don't even know what we're on. All I do know is I want to get a triple. Oh, we're on at 25. Yeah. Teammate, I could have been mad at you. There we go. We got another one. That's a triple nuke. Let's go. We're at 141 kills at the moment. How do I die? That's uh, we, That was a pretty quick nuke, so... We're gonna try for another one here. And to get this, I mean, we're gonna have to guess these spawns, like... Like, 100% right. They should spawn here. There we go. Good thing you have a weak pistol. We got an Overwatch again. Teammate's going to play hill a lot, so. And that's that's how we die. That is gonna ha that's how we're going to die. Give me 160 at least. How many kills are at 159? Alright, we're going to go ahead and call this nuke in to be safe. Because I, I want to get the nuke off. Give me 170. Wow. 165 kills. We didn't get 170, but I mean, 165 kills and a triple nuke is actually nuts. Let's get it.